Hey, good morning. It's a bright, oh, it's afternoon. It's a bright uh, early afternoon on Friday here in LA. I'm going to head off rock climbing and then try to put in 12,000 hands on the table for the day is my goal. So rock climb, get back around two, three and a half hours break, three and a half hours dinner, three and a half hours bed. It's my day. And yeah, welcome to the life of a uh, Three million VPP grinder. You guys currently 24 tabling the nosebleeds. <laughs> hey, I'm shutting down for the day. It's 1:40 a.m. I guess I played 12,000 hands. I got brutalized at the tables. Uh, yeah, ran not good today. Played all right, I think, but then the stuff I tried to do didn't work. I definitely made some pretty bad plays. Uh, yeah, so I'll wake up tomorrow and do it again. Hey guys. Uh, so Fallout from yesterday. I don't play that great. I think I was just losing for like eight hours straight and that the chemical stress and stuff from that starts to mess up my brain a little bit. So towards the very end, especially, you know, in a 10 hour session, I was making some bad plays. I wasn't playing that badly though. A lot of it was that, like, almost half of my volume towards the end was 510 or 1020 even, because mistakes games just died out for whatever reason, and so like the swings were just big and I just lost some thoughts. I'm not too upset about how yesterday went. Uh, fun thing for people who don't know too much about poker is that Scout has been online lately. So Scout is sort of legendary in the poker world. He's down around $3 million on Poker Stars in the last couple of years. He's meant to be some extremely rich Russian something. And yeah, hopefully I'll get to play with him. Yesterday I was running so bad, I actually logged off and left 5, 10, 10, 20 tables right as Scout logged in. And I was on like every single one, so I would have gotten to play with him. But yeah, just a matter of getting on this table. Oh. Hmm. Yes, it's 1.48 a.m. on Sunday and I'm shutting down and going to sleep. Uh, two losing days in a row, especially on the weekend, that sort of sucks, since the tables are theoretically meant to be good, just haven't been getting dealt the best hand very often. Um, <laughs> one hand, a rag, misclick shoved all in for $600 with pocket sixes, and I called with queens, and lost a $1,200 pot, when he hit a six on the flop, and like, if I win that pot, I'm up for the day, so there's just a lot of variance in what I'm doing, and I think I'm playing quite well, and I'm not too upset to be down for the day. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back in the Poker Stars hoodie. I'm actually feeling pretty well today, which is nice. Um, <coughs> as I say that. Uh, Catherine's mother got thrown from a horse last night and like shattered her elbow and broke a couple of hip pelvis sort of bones. Um, not fun, not good. So I'm gonna be playing today. She's in hospital. Catherine and Catherine's brother there with her. Hope she does okay. Hey guys, check out my hair this morning. Oh yeah, I was born blessed with about uh, 25 cowlicks, so mm, lighting my face, there we go, oh, I can't see anything there. It's, I guess, afternoon on Monday, I just spent like an hour and a half playing around with my blog, updating some stuff, and now I'm going to eat food and then play some poker.
Hey, so I went to the commerce today and played some live poker, which was a learning experience. Um, my, yeah, Bank of America sort of sucks, and we couldn't actually get cash, and I wasn't going to pay 20 bucks for a, like, credit card cash advance fee. So we ended up playing 1-2 with a $40 buy-in, which is basically just a variance war, like, there's no play there. It was boring, and I got queens under kings, kings under aces, and lost every other pot too, just about. And then came back, played for an hour, and lost every pot online, so... I don't know. I'm in a shitty mood, but... I'll get up and play more tomorrow. When I'm in a shitty mood like this, I just want to play and work on my game harder and get better and play better and win more. So that's what I'm going to do. I would tell Dean I was surprised he wasn't on it in real, for real. Uh huh. Hey guys, Steven here. On Tuesday morning, woke up this morning at like 11.50 or something to mom calling from outside. So mom and Peter are here now. Wave. Hello. Uh, we're gonna go out and do fun things that aren't poker. Because poker is not fun, we've decided. <laughs> um, I'll decide it is again in a couple of days. Uh, might play a bit of poker tonight, I don't know. Focusing on distressing and having a good time with the family. Hey, Stephen here. Took a full day off today. I'm just absolutely emotionally and mentally exhausted at the moment. Stuff going on with people getting hurt and people being man, people being old and other people and yeah. I just like can't think right now and I haven't been sleeping well. And yeah, definitely need a day or two, so. I actually don't think this is because of all the volume I've been putting in, which is sort of interesting. I thought it'd break down from the volume, but it seems to just be like everything else at once. That's, yeah, just need a couple of days maybe, and then we'll be back. I'd really like to tell you, oh my sunshine Even though your skies are blue You're drying up my bed How can I get any rest now? Sha la 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 Someday you will get the best of me, oh Someday Probably when I'm old and gray I'm lying in my bed And I will soon be put to rest now Sha la 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 Well, Doyle Brunson once told me on his blog that I was one of thousands of readers of uh, Sometimes the best thing you can do for your poker game is take a couple of days off, so here we are. I also always play the next hand after I've won a pot. Hey, so it's Thursday. My family left about two and a half hours ago. I played a session of poker and it went apocalyptically badly. So I wrote, wrote out the big hands. I actually won the two biggest pots with the nuts straight against bottom set and ace queen versus queens on king jack ten something nine. 
against a really gigantic fish. He was never folding. Um, yeah, and then like every other hand I lost, we lost barreling off against sets twice, one time for value with the worst hand. Um, Ace-Queen versus King-2 on Queen-7-2, turn was a 2. Hey, so I lost almost 3k today, my first day back after two days off. I think I've played well, and honestly, I think I've played pretty well all week. I've had four losing days, two days off, and one winning day. Uh, I think. Uh, that is just having the worst hand. Uh, there have been a few hands that I definitely played wrong, but, like, no more than usual, I don't think. So, um, hopefully next week I will start winning some pots again. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and get it up as soon as possible, and then start on the next one tomorrow.